So this is one thing that Theodore Roosevelt National Park is especially good at, is our night skies. Um, so I am gonna stand kind of close to the middle and if you can't see my laser, if you can't see that, scoot in a little bit closer. So everything is going around in this enormous circle and the middle of that enormous circle is that star right there. Yeah, that's Polaris, also called the North Star. And you may have heard that the North Star is the brightest star in the night sky. They fooled you. The North Star is like the 49th brightest star in the night sky or something like that. So it is, the way I find it is I go back to that Big Dipper, which is very easy to see in the night sky. I find the two stars on the cup of the Big Dipper that are farthest away from the handle and shoot straight up and hit a kind of sort of bright star. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But that guy is always going to be north. Then if we move over this way, there's a constellation that's just barely coming up over the horizon. And it's got three stars this way, it's got three stars this way, but one's hiding, and then it's got this thing. That is Saturn. And Saturn is one of the absolute coolest things to see through a telescope ever. So we're going to head over to the telescopes. So welcome and have a look through here. What we are looking at right now is the Ring Nebula, which is up in the constellation. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> it's in the constellation of Lyra, which is a harp, and it's right in between these two stars. What it is, is a star that gave up. That after a few billion years ran out of gas and fell in on itself, and when it fell in on itself, some stuff poofed back out. And that stuff that poofed back out is what you're seeing right now. 